To perform the division involving fractions, we'll work our way from left to right, writing each division as multiplication. Dividing by three halves is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of two thirds. And dividing by ten ninths is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of nine tenths. So we can write this division problem as twelve sevenths times two thirds times nine tenths. So again, notice how the division changed the multiplication and when doing so, we multiplied by the reciprocal. Now before we determine this product, we want to simplify by identifying all the common factors between any numerator and any denominator that would simplify to one. So what we're going to do is write all the numerators and denominators in prime factored form. So the prime factorization of 12, well 12 is four times three and four is two times two, so we'd have two times two times three. Seven is prime, two is prime, three is prime, the prime factorization of nine would be three times three, and the prime factorization of 10 would be two times five. In this form, we can easily identify all the common factors that simplify to one. So here we have a three over three, and here we have a two over two that simplifies to one. We have no other common factors between the numerators and denominators, so now when we multiply, we know this product will be in simplest form. So we have two times two times three times three, which will be 36, and the denominator is seven times five, which is 35. So this fraction is in simplest form. Notice how the numerator is larger than the denominator, so this is an improper fraction. So if you've already learned about mixed numbers, you may also want to convert this to a mixed number, or at least read the question to make sure you express your fraction in the correct form. To convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, we just perform this division. Remember this fraction bar means division, so this is 36 divided by 35. Well there's 135 and 36 with a remainder of one, which means we can express this improper fraction as one whole from our quotient here and one thirty-fifth. The remainder tells us the numerator, and our divisor is the denominator. So again, depending on how you're supposed to express your answer, here's our answer in fraction form, and here's our answer as a mixed number.